I'm Rosemary Jean Thompson and welcome to UBC's Next Big Thing. Today's guest is Solomon Tesfamerium. He is the Associate Professor in the School of Engineering here at UBC's Okanagan campus. Today we're going to talk about infrastructure. Back in 2012 a report card was released about Canadian infrastructure and how we were doing and it seems to me we weren't rated all that well. Poor to fair. What is UBC doing to deal with infrastructure and to help prepare our next generation? Part of our uh, mandate at UBC in our School of Engineering program, we have introduced an infrastructure management course. So with this infrastructure management course, and we're training our students uh, critical to infrastructure, how do you make decisions, how do you prioritize, and then how we manage this uh, aging infrastructure. And then most of the project they do is with actual municipality data so that the students, once they graduate, they will go out and uh, work in different municipalities and uh, engineering firms. So they will be our uh, next generation uh, trained students. And this is quite a unique program in Canada. Only few uh, universities, they have this course that we have uh, introduced in our School of Engineering. So this course basically prepares engineers working within municipalities and, and governments to be able to look at infrastructure uh, certainly the report not looking so good for Canada in the case of not really maintaining or being able to deal with the breakdown of infrastructure. Exactly. So with all these uh, different infrastructure system we have, you know, uh, managing this aging infrastructure, decision making is a very complex process mm -hmm. where they need to understand the economics of it, they need to understand the aging deterioration, the mechanics of it, they need to understand how the decision level at different level of governments are made. So by bringing this knowledge they need to uh, understand how to uh, minimize uh, the overall cost and risk this infrastructure are uh, subjected to at the same time. Given the limited budget all municipalities and decision uh, stakeholders they have and with more customer demanding higher level of service. It's a course that is bringing the knowledge that they have gained over the last four years into one course. Sounds like to me our UBC students will have a little bit of an advantage going out in the workforce when they're looking for those those engineering jobs by having that extra knowledge of how to manage better. I know you've been doing research around that as well. What kind of research have you been doing that will help our local governments and uh, across Canada better uh, right. plan out their their uh, maintenance programs? So we have here actually a very strong uh, infrastructure uh, management uh, research group. Uh, myself and, and Dr. Uh, Rehan Sadiq, we are uh, the two uh, collaborators who have been working uh, together on this uh, type of project. Some of the key projects that we are undertaking as we speak today is uh, with the different municipalities in the Okanagan region. The type of tools and knowledge base that we are developing for them is uh, risk-based prioritization. So not every infrastructure asset that is failing is critical. Right. So that's the component that has to be taken into consideration. So that likelihood of failure with all deterioration, environmental condition loading, and then if this system fails, what would be the consequence of failure? So integration of this likelihood of failure and consequence of failure is what we call risk-based prioritization. Now with municipalities, with different decision makers, the tools that we have developed for them, they can use and prioritize managing their infrastructure. Wow. That's another example of how UBC does the research here but takes it out into the community and, and helps support our, our environment and around us and our, our local government. Exactly. And then part of this uh, research that we, we undertake, we are uh, training a lot of students. Excellent. You know, master's students, uh, we tend to uh, engage our undergraduate students in our uh, research group. Uh, we're training a lot of PhD students, postdoctoral uh, research uh, fellows coming from uh, different areas. So all these are uh, uh, our part of our mandate is training of highly qualified personnel that we're sending out that will be helping decision makers, uh, engineers and uh, government at different level. Solomon, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Rosemary, for having me. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And that wraps it up for this edition of UBC's Next Big Thing. Until next time, I'm Rosemary Jean Thompson. Make it a great week.